Hey there, collective, and welcome to your December love forecast. This is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. I'm calling December Lover's Lane month, okay? Because we know that this is the time where it's festive, it's family, it's holiday-ish. Uh, so there's a time, a, a lot of uh, union and reunion times here. So uh, this is taking a look at the forecast of December. Uh, we, are finally, we are fastly approaching a new time, a new season, a new energy. And so now is the time to start setting your intentions for the uh, desired outcome in your love life. OK, so keep in mind that this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. All right. Spirit, what's going on for the collective for December? So you have refusing to see, do have joy and stability. <clears throat> Find balance. It's about re realign your balance here and rebuild here. I see. Listen. So some of you guys are in the month of December here. Some things you may be avoiding or not acknowledging here. You may be overlooking. You may not be listening to your higher self side. So there is a need to do that. Some of you guys could be so busy focusing on the negative things that happen in your life that you're not focusing on the beautiful possibilities that can happen. And for some of you guys, some things are repairable. You can fix some things. Some things you absolutely can fix because people can and do change. But that's up to you because you do have joy and stability. I do see a lot of financial gain in the month of December moving forward here. I feel like things, but I feel like, I feel like you're gonna, some of you guys may be starting over or there is a need to start over here. So for some of you guys here, you're going to get a, a change in your uh, increase in your finances. It may be a new job, a new career. I do see that too, but as it begins, pertains to love, you can have a very stable relationship, but you're going to have to put that work in at this rebuild could re represent reconciliation too. So look, people going to be lonely. People going to feel be feeling sad and isolated. So you don't be surprised if you have a lot of people backtracking here, they're going to start saying the collective wasn't so bad after all. So don't be surprised. There is a need to gain, gain your energy, find a balance. Don't let this holiday season knock you off your game here. It says find the balance. <clears throat> but this is in the reverse here. So there is a need to put yourself first. Don't let don't let people push you off your throne. Don't let the situation don't get overburdened here. I feel like spirit is talking to somebody, but somebody may not be hearing it because you got refusing to see and it has listen. I feel like listen is also telling you to quieten your energy here. Take back control. Some of you guys need to pull all the way back and spend a little time to yourself to regroup and find balance in your own life because this is going to be a very, very chaotic time because people are hustling and bustling here. Uh, but, but, but it's also a good time too because like I said, in the holiday time, seems like there's a lot of happy people. You're going to have a lot of happy people. You're going to have a lot of sad people too. It just depends on what energy you are vibrating in. Once again, I feel like maybe you need to open up more. See, some of you guys have been closing off your love and some of you guys may be choosing to do that. But I feel like once again, some of you guys may only be focusing on your job and your career at this time here. And but there is a need to open up because I feel like there is opportunities coming your way here. And then you have this in the reverse too. balance here. See. It's almost like not being overly aggressive in the masculine energy, but not being too feminine. So there's a need for the masculines to kind of pull it back a little bit. And there's a need for the feminines to not be as aggressive here. See, it's almost like, and like I say, everybody could be focusing on their money and, and finding their own personal happiness here. Uh, but like I say, there is going to be an opportunity to rebuild something, whether it's an old flame, an old job. But I feel like at the end of the day, you're going to win and you're going to be very, very successful here. I feel like something is opening up for the collective in the month of December because your overall energy is the six of pentacles. So some, see, six of pentacles and the two of cups, see? So something is definitely coming your way. So like I say, there is a need. There is an opportunity to rebuild something with someone here. There's the moon card here. Pisces energy. Could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces here. You have the Three of Pentacles. Could be some type of partnership here. Ooh, I see you. And the Empress. So you could be a Libra dealing with the Libra, but you in that Venus energy here. So see. 
that's why spirit some of you guys may be a little <laughs> some of y'all may be a little bit too withdrawn and a little too empty y'all could be a little too too standoffish here you could be in this inference and you're not you're not settling you may be setting your standards look i can't tell you how how to set your standards but when you want love um I ain't saying drop your standards. No, I'm not saying that. But Empress, you can look at things from a different perspective here, especially if you have not been open and open to things because you uh, may have been hurt in the past here. You may have been dealing with fear, but you do. <laughs> you have a soulmate that's coming in here, some type of connection here that wants to work with you, could be on your job. You could find out that somebody is crushing on you on your job here. Could be a Pisces, Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Oof. and they go to Wheel of Fortune here, and they go the Lovers. Could be dealing with the Gemini here. Oh no, that is oh yes, it is it's the Lovers. Yeah. So like I said, you may have to decide who you want to be with in this month. You know, I feel like as soon as you act like you're not bothered and you don't want it is when you're going to start getting more of it. OK, that's what I feel. But it seems like when you chase, it seems like the, the more you chase, the farther away it gets from you. I feel like that's part of our journey and our test. Six of Pentacles for the collective. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. So for some of you guys, you don't don't get into a habit of overspending here. Don't put yourself in debt trying to, you know, trying to take care of one day. Cause like I had to learn that when it's a, if it's a, if it's supposed to be about giving, isn't that what we do? Three hundred and sixty-five days out of a year, one way, formal fashion here. So you mean one day, one specific day, we got to give more than the others? Don't go in financial debt debt here with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Don't let this holiday become a burden to your finances. I see. Uh, somebody may be trying to uh, stretch their money to make sure everybody have everything they need. Don't you make make sure you're not the one left out here. Oh, but you got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries here. So you may be trying to figure out who you want to give your time with. That is what I feel like. You're going to have to balance your time out. Uh, order of elimination. Some people may not deserve your energy at this time. Knight of Cups, because I feel like you're after somebody, but I feel like you need to make sure, because I also feel, for some of you guys, you got uh, unfinished business with somebody, because I see this Eight of Cups in the reverse, and I also see the rebuild. So for some of y'all, y'all got unfinished business with a soulmate here, all right? <laughs> two of Cups. <laughs> oh, Two of Cups. <laughs> Two of Cups and a Page of Swords, and all this this person's gonna be doing is either gossiping about you, ooh, and they go to King of Cups and the Lovers. So for some of y'all, y'all gonna have to decide, and they go the Seven of Swords. I feel like this is gonna be the time where, if you don't make up your mind about what you want, the situation's gonna keep you out of sorts. It's gonna make your life imbalanced. It's gonna bring chaos to your life. For some of you guys, you may have multiple per people that you're dealing with and you need to decide who you want so that you can build that life here. The moon, see, there it is again, balance, see? Somebody could be keeping, you, you guys could be keeping other situations a secret here, but that's not helping you. Somebody gonna have to face it. See, they go to four ones. I feel like somebody's not being honest with themselves. So it's almost like going into this month, somebody's going to have to be clear and honest about what they want because I feel like somebody may be stringing other lovers along here. And I feel like it's going to come out or it's only going to cause delays with this hangman. And I don't see it being this empress here. It's either, I don't feel like it's you. Now it could be, you never know. They go dead, see? Three of Pentacles, some type of ending. Somebody here could have lost some type of money. Or somebody here feels like, or maybe this is something that's going to change your life here. I did see the Wheel of Fortune. See, that go to the King. Oh, well, that's the Queen of Pentacles. So see, you may have something coming your way. Because you remember, you do have joy and stability. Because see, there go the Six of Wands. You may start getting a lot of recognition. You could even be getting recognition on your job in a, in a, in a 
means of a person. So for some of you guys, you're going to get a lot of elevation, a lot of recognition on your job. But it's not only that you got somebody that's checking you out on your job, too. All right. What's up with this empress? Seven of one. See, I told you y'all guarded. I feel like some of y'all going to be guarded here. You could be low key bougie, too, because you've had enough of the games, the mind games, the deceit, anything that's that's. <laughs> That's not operating. See, once again, y'all have been enlightened and I feel like y'all own y'all game, but I feel like you're going to cause a lot of jealousy too, because you're going to come off like you got it all together and you may not have it all together. But I feel like for some of you guys, you're, you're balancing your energy out. So you're handling things better. And as a result, it's going to attract better things your way. So it's almost like you're choosing different lovers. Here's what I see, because I see the lovers card twice. Why is the lovers here for the collective for December? Knight of Cups, excuse me, the chariot moving forward here, overcoming challenges here. See, because somebody was feeling bad. See, somebody's overcoming some things. So like I feel like you guys are moving on. You may have had to do a lot of soul searching. Like I say, some of y'all may have had to pull back. I feel like you've had to, you know, purge with the five of cups here, the five of cups and the devil. See, could be a Capricorn. I feel like this is what somebody's doing. They're purging in order to bring balance back into their life. And what? And as soon as you start purging, Spirit wants you to know those same people that you got rid of are going to try to come back. So you know. What else for the collective? Let me pull a couple of these, couple of these cards. Let's see what your money looking like. Because we see joy and stability. All right, Spirit, what's going on for the collectives in December? Anchor. He says money blocks being stuck financially sound. A water related travel stable for now. So like I feel like, like I say, you got these pinnacles here. For some of you guys, you may have had to rebuild. You may have lost a job. You may have had to start a new job. But I feel like you're going to you're going to have the solid ground again. A firm foundation here. But some of you guys is releasing a old relationship here with this ring energy here. So some of you guys could have been in some type of relationship where you had joint accounts or where you shared assets or money and it wasn't working out. I feel like you guys are going to be able to go your separate way or you have went your separate ways. And I feel like as a result, you're going to be elevated here. So this ring says financial commitment, long term investment, partnership, work together, fulfilling career. And this is in the reverse here. So like I say, this could have been a relationship that y'all, you know, that came down here because you guys was not working together. Here is what I'm feeling. But this empress is going to be on, see, they go to two of swords here. It says money conflicts, um, cutting corners, breakthrough, law and order, pay cut, defense, uh, being fired. So like I feel like somebody may have lost employment here, but you're going to get find something better is what spirit is telling me. Because you got rebuild and you have joy and stability. What else for the collective? So some of you guys may have felt like you, you some of y'all left a whole relationship here. Got spiral, out of control, climbing the ladder, upward trend, uh, revisiting a job, promotion, connections here. So see, so you're going to go up because you remember you have the uh, empress here. The empress is very, very abundant here. And you have clover. It says lucky break, gamble, good, good fortune, chance, career, finance, outdoors, risky business, surprises. So I feel like you're going to have a surprise turnaround in your finances here. One more card here for the collective here. One more. You got pendulum. It says fluctuating income, indecisions, new strategic, new strategy, seasonal work or job change, making choices here. So, so this is what I feel like. it is. I feel like somebody's had to change their whole focus or this is what you're going to be doing. I feel like you're going to be thinking more about yourself. If you were in a relationship, I feel like you're not thinking about them right now. I feel like every man is for himself right now. 
especially if there's been some shadiness going on here, because you definitely have a soulmate connection here, but you also have choices here too. So you could have been in a situation where somebody you were dealing with had to choose between you and somebody else, and maybe they didn't choose you. But I feel like the universe has already chose you, and you may have been in a situation where it was affecting you financially here, but I feel like if you have disconnected from it, I feel like your things will improve. Believe it or not, sometimes when we're in relationships, those relationships affect everything about us, including our lives, our finances here. Because just think if, you find, if you're the only one financially stable in a relationship, then you're going to always have to help your person and vice versa here too. And people end up resenting people for that and they'll start feeling used here. All right, Spirit, what else for the collective here? What else for the collective? What else for the collective in December? What is the outcome for the collective in December spirit with this joy and stability? They go that clover. Remember, you got clover. So things are going to change for you, whether it's in your love life or in your finances. I see things changing for the better for you. I feel like your losses really aren't losses. It was just a way of you to purge and get rid of things that no longer serve you here. See, at the end of the day, your overall energy is the three of cups. So you're going to have cause to celebrate and you're going to have a, so this could be, you could be getting a lot of invitations out. We saw the three of pentacles. For some of you guys, you're going to be celebrated here. You're going to get some type of award or achievement, uh, some type of recognition here in the month of December that is going to give you cause to celebrate. And I feel like if it's work related, then your money is going to change too. But if you're in this high vibration of celebratory energy, you're going to attract love too. So I feel like what Spirit is telling you is that sometimes you have to stay to yourself just a little bit just to balance your own energy out because sometimes you can't save nobody else if you can't save yourself. So so there is a need to self-love and introspect and work on self. And then I feel like in that, things will turn around in your love life and overall anyway. All right. All right, collective. This is your December 2023 uh, general love reading. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.